Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Sea mines are one of the most dangerous weapons ever created. Unlike their land-based cousins, these mines are explosive devices designed to be deployed in bodies of water, such as oceans, seas, or rivers. They are a significant component of naval warfare and underwater defense systems and remain in use by countries around the world to this day. While sea mines are generally used to achieve various short-term military objectives, they are rarely removed by the same people who installed them. For this reason, destroying old, lost, or derelict mines is essential to the safety of all boats military, commercial, and civilian. In the U.S. Navy, this job is handled by highly trained and skilled Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technicians, or EODs. These men and women are specifically trained in how to safely locate, identify, disarm, and dispose of ordnance, including landmines, underwater mines, and unexploded ordnance. Because mines are often decades old and located in unsuspected areas, it is crucial that EODs be able to work with various military and civilian organizations, acting quickly whenever a new potential threat is discovered. When it comes to disarming underwater mines, EOD technicians follow a rigorous and specialized process. The first step is to locate the underwater mine. This can be done through various means, including sonar systems, underwater drones, or divers utilizing metal detection technology. Once a mine is located, it must first be identified. This is not only to ensure that it is indeed an explosive device, but that the team can determine the safest way to disarm it. In order to be safe, EOD technicians sometimes prefer to detonate the mine via controlled demolition simply. This process varies widely depending on the type of mine and its location. For instance, if the mine is found in the open ocean, EODs will simply inspect it, attach explosives to it, and detonate it from a safe distance. In some cases, they might even use an ROV or other remote vehicle to attach the disposal bomb to reduce the risk to the team further. However, if the mine is located in a place frequented by people or located near important infrastructure, the EOD technicians will decide on the best approach to render the mine safe. This can involve cutting wires, disabling the triggering mechanism without causing an explosion, or carefully removing the entire device so that it can be disposed of elsewhere. The U.S. Navy often conducts mine-sweeping operations to detect and remove naval mines from the sea, riverbeds, or other bodies of water.
Minesweeping is essential for ensuring safe navigation for ships and submarines in areas where mines have been laid, either during times of conflict or as a result of historical minefields. One of the safest ways to perform minesweeping operations is from the air. Using sophisticated magnets, acoustics, and sonar, helicopters can hover over designated areas to search for mines, clearing one quadrant at a time before moving on to the next. Ultimately, the clearance of mines is crucial for reducing the risk of maritime accidents and ensuring the safe movement of vessels in affected areas. Since the beginning of the 20th century, most military minesweeping has been done by ships. These specialized minesweeping vessels are often specifically designed for detecting and clearing naval mines using a range of different methods. Most minesweepers in the United States Navy are designated MCM for Mine Countermeasures. One such vessel, the USS Gladiator, is 224 feet long and roughly 39 feet wide, boasting a complement of around six officers and 75 enlisted. Minesweeping ships typically have a specialized hull design with features that reduce their magnetic and acoustic signatures. This makes them less likely to trigger mines while sweeping. They are also armed with various mine countermeasure equipment, including physical tools like chains, cables, or sleds. This can be used to cut the mooring lines of mines, causing them to float to the surface where they can be safely detonated or removed. Of course, they also have methods of dealing with mines as well. Common examples include acoustic sweeping devices, metal detectors, and magnetic field generators that can simulate the magnetic signature of a ship, causing magnetic mines to detonate prematurely. As with any mission that's important to overall military success, the U.S. Navy takes great care to train its minesweeper crews through a series of exercises, drills, and events. Many of these exercises are accomplished alongside other ships and teams from other countries. These exercises often focus on all aspects of mine warfare, including sweeping, hunting, disarming, and disposal. The men and women who participate in these drills take them very seriously, treating every new scenario and dummy mine as if it were the real thing. The hope is that the increased familiarity with the equipment and situations will allow them to perform perfectly when facing the real thing. ROVs often play a role in mine detection and disposal, especially in the open ocean. These high-tech remote vehicles are able to dive deep under the water's surface, 
navigate wrecks, and otherwise go where it might be too dangerous for divers. In the early 2000s, the U.S. debuted and began testing a new approach to sea mine neutralization, the Sea Fox Mine Neutralization Munition. This ROV-operated device is a unique tool for detecting and disabling mines with minimal human intervention. The Sea Fox can be remotely operated by trained personnel from a control station on a surface ship or from a shore-based control center. This allows for safe and precise handling of the ROV in potentially hazardous underwater environments. It is typically equipped with sonar and imaging systems that help it detect and identify underwater mines. Upon detecting such a threat, the device can implement an expendable, one-shot mine neutralizer guided by fiber optics to render the mines safe instantly. Best of all, the Sea Fox is designed to be reusable which allows for more cost-effective mine-clearing operations. In recent years, remote-controlled vehicles have become valuable tools for the military in various applications, including mine-clearing on both land and sea. These vehicles play a crucial role in reducing the risks to explosive ordnance disposal technicians by allowing them to perform dangerous tasks from a safer distance. As these vehicles have access to better and better technology, including advanced sensors, GPS mapping, and artificial intelligence, they have only become more efficient at their various jobs. Like the Sea Fox, more of these devices also incorporate some sort of mine neutralizing system. That means that in the very near future, humans may be able to completely cut themselves out of the mine sweeping and disposal process, all but eliminating the risk involved in the procedure. Of course, the biggest problem related to sea mines is that there's simply no way to determine how many potential devices are out there and where they might be located. Some older mines can remain active for well over 100 years, and newer devices are always deployed with no information as to their potential activation life. Fortunately, technology is finally getting to the point where we can actually see mines located at the very bottom of the ocean, hundreds of feet down or more. These devices pose a hazard to sea life, oil drilling, submarines, and many other natural and man-made structures. The only real solution is tracking and disposing of them completely. In fact, small, fast boats are in the open ocean right now, pulling sophisticated mapping devices that can detect even the slightest changes in the floor's makeup, be it temperature, material makeup, or texture. These operations can sometimes include dozens of vehicles, including helicopters and multiple sizes of vessels. It just goes to show how seriously all navies take the threat of unexploded mines. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. 
make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.